Hi everybody, we're gonna be exploring texture by making some rubbings of different items around the house that have texture. So um, for this first one, I have a spatula and I have a crayon. And what I'm going to do is pick up my paper and I'm gonna hold the spatula under the paper. And then I'm gonna take my crayon and I I'm going to rub my crayon over the paper and I'm going to pick up, by doing this, I'm gonna pick up the shape and texture of this spatula. You see how I'm holding onto the object under the paper. It's a little tricky, but it's still worth it. Now let's try, uh, this is just a tin can and I took the label off um, and I'm gonna put it under my paper. Get another color and you can see the ridges that are on the crayon are starting to appear on my paper. And the when the can moves underneath the paper a little bit, um, that means that that means that these move too. And so you can see that um, uh, my lines moved a little bit. I don't mind that. I think it looks pretty cool. Now we're gonna try a set of keys. Keys are great. Let's put them on our surface. You'll also notice that I have a nice flat surface that I can rest my objects on. It makes this whole um, exercise a little bit easier. So I'm gonna hold on to there. And you can start to see the key appear. Sometimes it's hard with um, uneven objects, but we're gonna just do the best we can. I don't know. Let me try just this key. There we go. That looks pretty great. Cool. This one is a shell and I got it on the beach somewhere and I kept it cause it looks pretty cool. I like these little ridges that are hard to see when I'm just holding it this way. But if I put it underneath my paper, you can start to see the shell a little bit better. Oops, I moved it. Oh well. Try to hold it and do the best you can. It's got a pretty cool shell. For this next one, I am I found uh, up in the kitchen. I found a grater, a vegetable grater. This one I think is going to be pretty awesome. Hold on to that. Yeah. I want to be careful to not go too hard because I don't want to grate my crayon. Look at that. Pretty cool. This next one, I have this really cool mirror. Um, it has sort of a fisheye lens. That's not what I wanna make a texture rubbing of. What I wanna get is this sort of sun ray. And this is kind of cool. I can even make it kind of in the corner. 
And I'm gonna hold on to this. And I'm gonna try to get that design that's on the mirror frame. Whenever you're getting stuff from around your house, you're gonna wanna ask your grown up uh, if whatever object you wanna uh, make a texture rubbing of, if it's okay. You can't just grab any old thing because sometimes we don't know if something is valuable or breakable. So it's always good to ask your grown up. Hopefully if it's something really awesome that they'll say, yeah. That's really cool. Wooden spatula with holes in it. That's gonna make a really cool texture. Now we're gonna try a waffle iron, or part of a waffle iron. That is gonna have some great texture. And I don't have to do all of it because it's pretty big, but even if I just get a section of it, that's gonna, that's gonna give me uh, some nice cool texture. This is the lid to uh, to a box I got from my grandma. This is all in metal, and it has um, a picture of an owl on it, and it looks pretty cool. I don't know if it's gonna totally show up, but it's worth it. Because even if I don't know what something, even if I can't tell what something is after I've made the texture rubbing, it's really great to know, like I know I did it. And sometimes it's just, it's enough just to get a really fun design. Now I'm gonna try a compass. It's a small one, but it's good enough for what I want to do with it. It's kind of pointy and sharp, so I have to be careful. You always wanna be mindful of where your object is and where your hands are because when, we, when we're working with an object and we can't see it because the paper is over it, we don't know if something is gonna be like super sharp or painful. And so um, I just want you to be careful when you're doing this. Cool. Now we're gonna try a dice. Um, what number? Five is pretty cool. Let's do five. This is gonna be tough. You can kind of see it. Let's stay on that small, small things idea. And I have a bottle cap and I'm gonna do it this way 
so I can really get these ridges. It's a little pokey. I don't know if you guys can see it that well, so I'm going to do um, a black crown instead, so that these that these little ridges on the bottle cap really pop. Some great shapes uh, you can find for shapes and textures are old tools. And this is a pair of pliers. And I think it's gonna be a pretty great shape. So let's try it under there. Oh yeah, that's really showing up. You know, on this one too, um, on the handle, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a really great little pattern. And just to, I'm gonna put it right next to it. I'm actually gonna hold my paper and see if I can't get this little pattern on it. That's pretty great. We're gonna try doing a texture rubbing of an outlet cover. You never, th this is a great pattern, but you could only do it if you have an extra outlet cover. You never wanna do a texture rubbing on a real outlet. This is just a piece of plastic and I like these shapes. So I'm gonna use that. I'm only gonna do part of it. Let's do one more on this and I think we're gonna use a baseball because baseballs are awesome. And look at that texture. That's pretty great. Um, I'm gonna do it down here and I'm gonna, because it's round, it's kind of difficult to hold on to. So I'm gonna do my best. I'm really just looking for um, the pattern of the stitching on the ball. That's great. So when you can see that when you're all done, what you have is a super cool page full of different kinds of textures from around your house.